All right, guys, breaking out some 380s here today. We've got a Beretta Model 85 Cheetah. We're gonna have a little fun with this little guy here. Single stack 380, let's have some fun. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, guys, hope everybody's having a great day. We thought we'd break out a nice classic Beretta here. Uh, these 85s are a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, really special gun. I, I think very highly of these pistols, and uh, we're going to have a little fun here in today's video. Before we get started, I would like to thank our friends at Sonoran Desert Institute for supporting our videos. If you're looking for a career in gunsmithing technology, reloading, more of the business side, they've got some great distance learning programs, awesome instructors, really great curriculum. Check them out, Sonoran Desert Institute, SDI, and tell them that we sent you. Go get yourself some of that old education over there. All right. And we are going to break into this particular pistol. Um, there are a heck of a lot of variants of these particular pistols, and they've gone through some uh, changes over the years, starting out uh, around the 70s or so uh, with some of the earlier versions of this pistol, the 84s, and what, what is affectionately been called the 80 series. So it is kind of an older pistol design at its core, right? Uh, but when you look at like the M92, uh, you look at the M9, you know, a lot of those Beretta pistols, you know, they kind of come from some earlier lineage of, of a more simplified type of gun that they sort of made improvements to. And this particular gun is no different. This is the most recent version of this pistol. So this is what they would call the uh, Model 85 Cheetah, but the 85FS, Foxtrot Sierra. So the F means that it has a squared off combat style trigger guard, the hardened textured grips, okay, and also a chrome line chamber and barrel, all right, so that just makes uh, for a carry piece and adverse conditions, it just makes the gun have a little bit better longevity in the field without being cleaned or, you know, you're running around out in the weather and things like that, and, uh, you know, so the S stands for some internal improvements that were made on this pistol. I don't know what those internal improvements are. <laughs> I'm not even going to dare to venture what they improved, but um, you're going to see that as a reoccurring theme with a lot of Beretta's pistols over the years, right? Uh, you guys know we're a big fan of the 950, the Minxes, and a lot of the tip-up barrel 22s that are out. I really love those pistols, but you notice that those types of model designations start to come into effect as well. The 950, the 950B, the 950BS, the 950, I mean, gosh, there's all these random changes and the same type of thing. That S stands for like those internal little improvements and tweaks that they made. So this gun uh, does represent the newest version of the Model 85 Cheetah. To my knowledge, this pistol was still in production. Although I did read some reports all over the internet that said that Beretta stopped making this pistol. I haven't been able to find any indication in either direction. So your guess is as good as mine. I guess if you can find one, they're available. Um, but this pistol kind of suffered from a few things. Uh, one is just like, it was kind of a day late and a dollar short. I mean, when there were so many other like great double stack pistols out around the time, this one kind of fell by the wayside because not only is it a single stack pistol, but it's also a double single action, relatively large, heavy pistol. And the sights are kind of a little random. It uses a figure eight style of sight arrangement. So instead of having two dots in the rear and one up front, it's just got two dots and you just kind of hover them in a figure eight and that's kind of it, which is fine. I mean, it's obviously capable of some pretty accurate shooting at defensive distances, but one of the things that this uh, gun fails in is that it's an anemic caliber being in 380 and it's a single stack. Now, if this was a double stack gun with like 15 rounds and one in the chamber, like you look at the uh, Bursa Thunder Plus, all right, we did a video on that gun. Now that's 15 shots of 380 in your hand in a very similar size of gun, right? Uh, now, if you were in that type of arrangement, okay, I could understand having a little bit more anemic of a cartridge because you have more of them, which that's kind of cool. Um, but these guns are classic. They are a lot of fun to shoot. They are ridiculously accurate if you do your part. And, you know, despite being in 380, you would think that, you know, maybe they don't really kick that bad, but it's kind of odd. This gun, despite being in an anemic caliber, does have a little bit of a recoil impulse. Now, to be fair, it is a very lightweight pistol. 
It's super easy to carry. It absolutely disappears on your body if you carry it. Uh, and it is, you know, a nice full featured pistol. Okay, the disassembly procedure on this gun is very similar to your standard Berettas. Like if you're used to taking apart an M9, you can totally take this guy apart. Although it is worth noting that the controls are on the opposite side of the pistol for disassembly over the uh, M9 series. Um, but all in all, you do have ambidextrous manual safety. All right, with a decocker. All right, this gun is a double single action pistol uh, and it does utilize a magazine disconnect safety. So you notice we can't, we can't do anything other than decock the pistol when there's not a magazine inserted into the pistol. So we got a couple of mags here. Um, a big thanks to our friends at Gun Mag Warehouse for getting us out some extra magazines for this gun. Uh, this is one of Brandy's Berettas I got for her. Uh, she loves it, uh, but we needed some extra magazines and they came through for us on that. So big thanks to them. All right, let's have some fun, shoot this thing a little bit. All right, got some poppers. Now you notice that that 380 has barely got enough steam to knock over that plate. And that's only 15 yards away. Now granted, I didn't get a real solid hit. Let me see if I can hit a little higher on the plate and get it to fall down. All right, so I was shooting a 10-inch uh, gong at 50 yards here with this little 380. So the accuracy is definitely there. Uh, you kind of have to bullseye with that weird sight picture because it's kind of a figure eight, which um, for especially for a lot of American shooters, that's going to be a very, very odd and cumbersome style of sight picture that most American shooters are certainly not used to. Now, granted, for the distances that this pistol is probably designed to protect you at, it's more than adequate and they probably do pick up a little bit better when it comes to trying to, you know, pick them up quickly and get on a target that's kind of up close to you. So let's try that a little bit. I'll just try bringing the pistol up. Look at that, right where I'm looking. Very, very good on that front. I think we're good on mags, John, thank you. Um, man. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan of a single stack 380. You know, you do kind of have a little bit of a lack in firepower. Tell you what, let's try the double action uh, trigger out. All right, we got a round in the chamber. When I flip the safety up all the way, it drops the hammer. I can bring the safety off and with the hammer on half cock, I could totally just put this in a holster and go do my thing. All right, so we're gonna come out and we're gonna uh, check this double action. All right, I got some clean targets over here on my right. Let's try the double action out. Double action again. Double action. Fantastic accuracy, boys and girls. One more for the, for the road. I mean, that's a fantastic double action trigger. So if it's one thing you have to say about Berettas is that they never disappoint in the double action category, the single action category. They never disappoint in the reliability, generally. Now, some of you who are issued M9s might argue with me a little bit on that, but let me tell you, put fresh springs in her and get some fresh mags in there and give it another try before you come to that conclusion, okay? The M9 as a military issue pistol aside, any double single action Beretta, you are going to be instantly happy with it. I mean, the trigger is fantastic. Uh, so that is one definite high point. All right, how about a double action pull on a 10 inch round at 50 yards? All right, double action. Oh, just over the top. Let's try one more time. I got one round in the chamber. All right, so that's a quick thing to make note of. There is a loaded chamber indicator. When you have a round in the chamber, the extractor pops out just so slightly and you look down and you see just a little bit of red. And 
even if you can't see it, you can reach down and you can feel that extractor poking out. It is definitely tactile and discernible. Really cool, all right? Double action squeeze. Let's see if I can hit that 10 incher. It's a very pleasurable gun to shoot, y'all. Uh, it's a really nice setup. Right in the center, baby. Heck yeah. Now, uh, I have not dealt with uh, any of the other models in this lineup. This is the only gun I'm familiar with in terms of actually taking out and shooting a little bit. But I will have to say, uh, I, without having messed with some of the earlier models, I can certainly see where the FS designation, this certainly would be the apex of what this pistol is. I love the squared off trigger guard. I love those hardened grips. Uh, and I love that chrome lining. It makes cleaning a snap and some of the adverse conditions, you know, really easy to deal with. And uh, other than being in a mouse gun caliber, <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool, y'all. Heck yeah. I would certainly not have a problem defending myself with this pistol. Now, I prefer to have a little more medicine than this, but it's nice to know that it's very capable. That's one thing about Beretta, right? Beretta pistols. Yeah. Okay, you might deal with a 32 or a 380 or some of the older gun designs that they put out, but they're accurate. They generally always work. And man, you know, the shooting experience that you have is going to be a positive experience. So if anything, you have to say that the guns definitely deliver the goods. All right. I hate to waste soda with 380, but we're going to shoot these sodas real quick and have a little fun. All right. Now, um, why do I all of a sudden crave pizza? I mean, like, I smell the soda in the air. I'm shooting an Italian pistol. I feel like maybe for lunch I need to have a calzone or maybe go grab a pizza or something. I, I just feel like that would be appropriate. Don't y'all? Uh, we, we love our Italian friends, okay? We're, we're just having a little fun, okay? Everybody can take a little joke. All right. All right, last mag. All right, got some longer range targets. I'm gonna focus on that 50 yard target down range right there. Uh, we've only got a couple of splashes on it. I'm gonna take my time and try to print a few on that 10 inch gong down there. Now, you know, 10 inch gong with 380 out of a small gun. I mean, I can't imagine somebody shooting further than that in a defensive situation, but it's just nice to know that the gun is capable if you do your part, the gun will deliver the goods. Now, of course, you know, I have to actually hit the target <laughs> now that I said that, but let's give it a try. I think we can hit her a couple of times here. I'll take it all day long. So whereby this pistol might lose a few points in the area of caliber, capacity, it makes up for it in its shootability, its comfort, its features, its slim size, the quality, the craftsmanship, worksmanship, quality of materials, quality of finish. There's a lot to be said there about that. That's why I like making videos on guns like this because some people tend to dismiss them because maybe they haven't had the chance to take one out and actually shoot it and realize that, wow, man, these things are actually really great shooting guns, you know, and they deserve a place in every EDC lineup. I mean, there's just, there might be a time when you just want to carry a single stack 380. So that's just a really cool option. And it's worth noting that the Enox versions of this gun are to die for. They are beautiful. I don't know if they make them anymore, but man, the, you know, all stainless and the wood grips, man, they're just such great looking pistols. And let's face it, aesthetics matter, right? And if we have to look at aesthetics, it is one sexy looking gun. All right. So that, that counts for something. Look, um, y'all have yourselves a great day. I really appreciate you watching today's video. It's always fun to sling some 380 and, uh, you know, we haven't shot a lot of 380s on the channel, so we thought it'd be cool to break a few out. 
Uh, we actually have another one we're going to be filming here in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. Big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting what we do. Uh, if you want to support us directly, you can either donate on Patreon. You can go over and pick yourself up a t-shirt on Ballistic Inc. Uh, make sure you click that notification bell, subscribe. Make sure you're fully subscribed to our channel. All right, have yourselves a great day. I think we're going to go have a pizza. See you later.